celebrating all of the hard work that went into this amazing achievement. Have fun and good luck in all that you do. Congratulations, class of 2020. Your class of 2020. Well, sadly, we cannot have this ceremony in its traditional format. This video gives me the opportunity to offer words of encouragement and advice that would have otherwise gone unsaid. Number one, read. Read anything that you can. Never let your brain sit on the sidelines passively. It's got the fire. Yeah. Be honest. Build trust. And follow your dreams. Number three, find your talent. Number four, listen to your heart more than your head. It knows what is right and what makes you happy. And number five, surround yourself with a good friend like this. I don't know if this is a fun Beings who are loyal love you unconditionally and can make something as simple as a walk if you feel like you want to Congratulations to the fans. What a year you had. If you can get through this year, you can get through anything. I wish you all the best and it was a pleasure seeing you go through the past four years and working for you to be successful. Take care and all the best. Dear class of 2020, you may not have had the opportunity to make more of the traditional memories that come with being in high school, but one thing's for certain. The world and the history books will always remember us. We're living in a time where we hear a lot about what is considered to be essential. But I thank you for modeling for all of us, for our community, for our school, for the world, what truly really is essential. That's love, support, and cooperation. So best wishes to you always and congratulations. Congratulations, seniors! Thank you, go past 2020! Woohoo! Class of 2020, congratulations. I wish you all the best in the future. South High Class of 2020, wow. I haven't had the pleasure of seeing you in the classroom since you were young, naive algebra students or only slightly more mature in geometry. But in the years since, I've cherished your smiles in the hallway when you stopped by and gave me a genuine hello. Oftentimes, us teachers tease you and say how easy you kids have it now as compared to when we were your age. But that's not true anymore. You're graduating into some really challenging times. The COVID-19 pandemic, global climate change, Black Lives Matter, a truly uncertain economy. In some ways, a really brutal reality. But you're a classy bunch of young adults. You're up to the challenge. Go out into the world and make us proud. One last thing. Perhaps the most rewarding thing for me as a teacher is when one of my former students stops me on the street reintroduces themselves and we catch up. Those moments mean the world to me. So stop me, tease me when I don't recognize your face and tell me what's up. Until then. Always remember to keep some fun in your life. <laughs> Congratulations class of 2020. I'm so proud of each and every single one of you for reaching this major milestone in your lives. Best wishes in all of your future endeavors. Take care. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of this accomplishment of yours and look forward to learning about all the remarkable things you do with your future. Well done. Congratulations, class of 2020. Woo! So I just wanted to say I am so sad that I didn't get to see you this spring. Um, but I feel so grateful that I'm a phys ed teacher because I got to meet a lot of you as freshmen. And if I was lucky, I had you for three or four years and really built some wonderful memories with you guys. So thank you so much for that. I wish you all the best in all of your future plans. And please come and visit. I would love to see you and see how you grow in your futures. Um, I would love to leave you with this favorite quote of mine from Winnie the Pooh. How lucky I am to have had something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Thank you, class of 2020. Best wishes until we meet again.
all the 2020 graduates, congratulations on the best of your next adventure. To my fifth graders from Harrison Avenue, I am honored to have been part of your journey. Thank you for teaching me and get out there and live your best life. Hi, class of 2020. I have three things I'd like to say to you. First, be careful who you choose to follow. And second, just always do your best. And third, and my favorite, is choose kindness. Always choose kindness. Congratulations on finishing this chapter of your book. I can't wait to read the rest. Congratulations, seniors. I want to thank you for all of your awesome contributions to Southwest Falls High School over your last four years. I wish you the very best in your future endeavors, and I hope that you will continue to work hard, always have a positive attitude, give back to your community, and find your passion and go after it, and best of luck with everything that you do. Hello, class of 2020. Ms. LaRue here. I just wanted to take a moment to extend my best wishes to all of you. You have many reasons to be proud of your accomplishments, especially in regards to persisting through this last half of the year. Remember what you may have lost in moments and memories you have gained in strength and perseverance. I am proud of you. Best of luck in all of your future endeavors. The best is yet to come. Congratulations. You did it. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi, this is Mr. McGuff. Hi, this is Mrs. McGuff. Congratulations to all the seniors. Best of luck. Congratulations, seniors, and to my Ballard alumni. I'm so happy for you. Now get out there and make us proud. And don't forget us. Come back and visit anytime. Bye-bye. Good luck. Hi seniors, it's Miss Delisle here. I just want to say congratulations on your graduation. I know the year didn't go the way expected in terms of the end of the year, but you still have lots to be proud of. Best of luck to you in your future. Congrats. Hello seniors, I'm here to wish you congratulations on your graduation and farewell. You will all have positive characteristics that will get you through these difficult times and everyday life. It's important to stay positive and grateful. We all have things to be grateful for, perhaps a loving grandmother, a loyal friend, a niece or nephew that makes us smile. For sure, things never stay the same. They're constantly changing. So if you're going through a rough patch, don't worry. There's always hope. Things will change and get better. Keep moving forward. Set a small goal for yourself that's achievable, one at a time, and move towards that. It's been a pleasure working with you and getting to know you. Good luck. Keep in touch. If there's anything you think I can help you with in the future, please touch base through email, social media, and good luck. Hi class of 2020, it's Mrs. Veeam from the seventh grade red team. On the last day of school in seventh grade, I played the song Everybody's Free for all my classes. I highly suggest going back and listening again as you enter this new stage of your life. Here's wishing you the very best for all the new adventures that life has in store for you. Warmest congratulations on your graduation class of 2020. Trust me on the sunscreen. Hey class of 2020, congratulations on your graduation. You've been working towards this moment for a long time since you were a little kid. Keep in mind all of your accomplishments, everything that you've done to get yourself to this point, and know that we're all super proud of you and wish we could be with you to celebrate. Congrats. Hey, class of 2020, congratulations. I've got two things for you to remember. One, no excuses, do the work. Two, math saves lives. Peace. Congratulations, class of 2020. I know this is not how you wanted to graduate, but you're all going to do very well in your lives. Best wishes to you all. Be safe. Have fun. I love you. Have a good time. Congratulations to the class.
class of 2020, especially for my son, Avi. Your graduating class will never be forgotten and will be remembered for changing the way that I would like to welcome you to the 123rd commencement exercises for South Glens Falls High School in the class of 2020. My name is Pete Modi, and as you all know from my number of emails and voicemails, I have the honor of serving as principal of this high school. Before we get the formal commencement exercises underway, I would like to ask everyone to shut off their car lights so it's easier to see the screen. And I would also like to share the final surprise that we have for the class of 2020. Tonight, we have a special guest for y'all. He's a Nashville recording artist who has songs that have been in the top 50 on the country music billboard chart. His music has over 60 million streams across the world. He's been flying around the country singing his new hit single, Senior Year, for schools from California to New York. I am excited to introduce y'all to country music artist Drew Baldridge, who's here tonight to perform for the class of 2020 for South Glens Falls. Take it away, Drew. Class of 2020, how we doing out there? Let's hear them horns, come on, celebrate. y'all i'm so glad to be here hanging out with you guys to celebrate your night and uh i think we're tuned in here on 104.3 if y'all can hear me out there we're hanging out here i think we're going to wait for a second to get some video footage up on the screen so i'm just going to talk to y'all a little bit and uh and just say hey introduce myself i'm drew baldridge i grew up in a little bitty town and uh Kind of very similar to this, out in the country. And uh, I don't know about y'all, but uh, I consider it the middle of nowhere. And I'm proud of it. Y'all proud to be from the middle of nowhere, my guy? Is? That's right. Let's hear them home. Woo! And I've been, I've been flying around the country, playing at different graduations, and uh, from California to New York. And we were in Music Falls last night. We're here tonight for y'all. Y'all gonna be better in Hoosick Falls? Are you gonna get crazy? You're gonna get louder? <laughs> I love it. Well, class of 2020, I got a message for you here. Uh, I don't know what y'all's plans are next. Some of y'all are gonna go off to college. Some of y'all are gonna go chase a dream. If you have a dream, you should go chase it. Don't ever leave yourself saying what if. What if I would have done that? You can do it. Y'all, you have been dealt so much, dealt a weird hand this year, and you guys have gotten through it. Class of 2020, you're resilient. And that just goes to show you that you can do anything that you put your mind to. Some of y'all are gonna stay right here in your hometown, and that's awesome too. But tell you what, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you're always going to be that middle of nowhere kid. It's going to stick on you like glue. And uh, well, I got some advice to give you. Never be afraid to pick up the phone and call mom and dad. They always have the best advice. They'll help you get through the hard times and the good times. So this first song I'm going to play y'all here, this goes out to all the middle of nowhere kids out there. Y'all ready? This is for the countdown that pains, couldn't wait to graduate. Spray can paint and Chevrolet. And FFA patch on your jacket. This is for the summer stack and hate. 
calling shotgun and your first taste of ice cold drinks and girls chase around that nothing but a map dot. This is for the middle of nowhere kids thinking that there's gotta be more than this cussing the dust and the wind and the red on your skin and that one stop of light. All you raised on a John Deere plowboard song for all you cowboys. Yeah, I know right where you live. All you middle nowhere kids. This is full of leaving and calling home. Your daddy in hand and your mom the phone. Man, you miss that first kiss town. That home team crowd miss running around. Your stomping ground since you've been gone. This is for the middle of nowhere kids. Thinking that there's gotta be more than this. Cause in the dust and the wind and the red on your skin. And that one stop of light. All you raised on a John Deere Plowboys. Song for all you cowboys. Yeah, I know right where you live. TV work. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but I got my South High Class of 2020 shirt on. Represent me all tonight. Yes. I love it. Love it, love it. <clears throat> well, y'all, this next song I'm going I'm to play, y'all. This is your song. This is the Class of 2020 song right here. I feel really lucky to be here with you guys tonight and celebrate your big day. Y'all, it's been a tough year. It, uh, you know, sometimes in life, things don't go as planned. And y'all, you learned about that at a young age. And I really believe class of 2020 is going to be the strongest class yet. Shoot, y'all are going to come out with some great big muscles on you <laughs> compared to what what uh what i did and how awesome is this i didn't get to walk on a gym floor y'all get to have a drive-in show this is crazy awesome i think we need to give a big round of honks to the staff that helped throw this on tonight they worked so hard for you guys yes let's go come on Woo! they worked so hard so a lot of a lot of nights a lot of nights go into this. I'm trying to get my mic to sound better. I know it's loud. Um, they put a lot of nights into this. A lot of days. I hope this song, this next song right here, can let you relive some of the good memories. We're gonna, we're gonna take you back to that very first day, y'all. Very first day of senior year. I remember that first day, feeling like a king. Sitting out in my truck, freshmen wishing they were me. Old Chesney singing about them boys of fall. Yeah, this is our year. We were gonna win it all. It was skipping class. It was 
wasting gas on fading cash from mowing grass that I lacked some. We were living fast on top of the world, trying to find a guy old enough to buy a little cheap wine for you, girl. Game days, we were journeys in the hall. We were barely 18, but a bunch of know-it-alls. You're blinking high and then you're there. On a gym floor in folding chairs, yeah, yeah. Throwing caps up in the air, a couple tough boys shedding tears. Never thought it disappeared, senior year. Burning tires, burning CDs, breaking curfew, mama waiting on me. Thinking that first love would last forever My old letter jacket and all It never looked better than it did on her shoulders oh, But now that we're older, I wonder where she is now Or if she ever thinks about Living fast on top of the world Trying to find a guy opened up to drive a little cheap ride for you Blinking eye and then you're there oh, On a gym floor in folding chairs Yeah, yeah Throwing caps up in the air Couple of birds shedding tears Never thought it disappeared Well, I take a lap around and I can't help but smile Cause we were big shots for just a little while Senior year Senior year Class of 2020, you still with me out there? Come on! We were living on top of the world Trying to find a guy holding up to buy a little cheap wine for you He totally wanted to come here and do that for you, so I'm so excited we were able to. At this time, we are going to begin the uh, the ceremony, so please hold tight for a moment while we switch over video, and we will get this started. Thank you.
It's difficult to fathom that over three months ago, we were all packed in the gym wildly dancing to Fireflies by Owl City. It feels like yesterday we heard the total, $801,281.38. Looking back, I'm incredibly proud of what we accomplished. Despite the unfortunate circumstance we currently find ourselves in, we will always have that memory of our last days of our senior year. How lucky are we to have that last experience? In a time like this, it's easy to focus on the negative aspects in life and forget about the things that are good. As seniors, we lost much of what we look forward to since kindergarten. In the face of our disappointment, our memories of this time will never be forgotten. For this, I would like to thank Mr. Modi and school administrators, Ms. Mann and Mrs. Hogan, along with all of our teachers, guidance, faculty, and staff. They have worked tirelessly to prepare us for our futures and to make sure we had some fun along the way. And look, we made it. Congratulations. Moving forward, we have the opportunity to make change, important, lasting change. We have personal dreams and goals, but I ask you to think bigger. What do you want our community to look like? What do you want our world to look like? Personally, I would like to live in a society that celebrates our differences and aids those in need. Here at South High, we know what that looks like. We see that in our community every March. As we move on to our next stage in life, I urge you to never forget that feeling. We have been pre presented with a unique chance to choose the future. We are standing at a pivotal moment in history. How we respond matters. Stand up against injustice, fight for what you believe in. Change does not arise easily. You must not cheat, lose your passion or drive. When your kids and grandkids open their history textbooks, what do you want it to say? Believe it or not, you have the ability to influence them, to change the narrative of history. Your voice is important. Make sure you use it. Vote. We are the future and we have the power to make a difference. We can change the world. Throughout this pandemic, we have gained a new outlook on life that has put us on the path to achieve our dreams. In a moment's notice, we were forced to adapt to life in quarantine. Although disappointing, changing your course of action is a necessary skill. Life does not always go according to plan. So we must learn to find the silver lining even in the face of disappointment. Obstacles will rise in your journey. You cannot let them defeat you. Remember, we have a history textbook to write. With that, I ask you, what is your dream for the future? What are you going to do to ensure that dream comes true? You hold the power to create change. You must decide to use it. Never forget that marathon feeling, but focus on the future, because as the song goes, our dreams are bursting at the seams. Hello, everyone. My name is Lanny Tarepka, and I am your class of 2020 valedictorian. I know this might not be what we were expecting for a graduation for the end of the year, but I'm glad to still be speaking to you somehow. I would like to start off by thanking those who have helped me make this accomplishment of mine possible and who have provided me with a great experience in school and in life. I would like to thank my parents for always supporting me and believing in me in every aspect of life, whether it be school, sports, growing up, whatever you can name, my parents were there to help guide me and support me as well as they could. I would also like to thank my friends and classmates for be being there along the way to have fun with me, learn with me, provide me with memories, and motivate me. I would finally like to thank the staff within the South Lens Falls School District. Mr. Modi, my teachers, my coaches, the lunch ladies, and the janitors for helping me have a fun, safe, challenging, and memorable school experience. High school is home to some of my best memories. All of the marathons, lunch periods, sports games, bus rides, fun class periods, and many more. It is even home to some not so awesome memories. The all-nighters, the cramming before tests, the stress about finals. But these challenges and times of hard work were necessary to accomplish my goals and to get me to where I am today. And I'm glad that I've realized that these tough times are just a part of life. If I'm being honest, it's a little intimidating and sad to be moving on. And I'm sure many of you, including parents and family members, feel the same way. I would like to say a quote that I feel applies to this current state of excitement, nerves, and sadness that many of us are experiencing. No astronaut launches
just to space with their fingers crossed. That's not how we deal with risk. This is a short but fitting quote by astronaut Chris Hadfield. Grades 1 through 12 might not be the end all be all of education. You're not going to leave high school as Albert Einstein. High school is meant to prepare us and qualify us for the life that follows it. So although the future, no matter what it may hold, may seem intimidating and unknown, I'm confident that my class and I are well prepared for that step. And that confidence stems from the great education that I have been provided with at South Coast Falls. And like I said, that's more than just teachers. It was everyone involved in my South High experience. So thank you to all of those that have made my South Coast Falls experience something to remember and be confident about. I have always felt that the class of 2020 was a special class, that our body of students always had great potential, talent, and dedication. Our perseverance through this tough time has only proven this belief, and I wish this special class of 2020 good luck in the future. Thank you. You have seen 
experience. And if there was ever a class that I think could rise to the challenges before you, to answer the call for change at a time that is sorely needed, to finish the jobs that were started by the rebels of my generation and my parents' generation, or better yet, fix the places where we failed miserably, it might be you. It might be your class who worked to raise awareness of the mental health issues and trauma that are faced by our nation's servicemen and women starting the 22-a-day push-up challenge. For two years, it has been an opportunity for students to come together for just a few minutes a day over the course of a week to think about those who risk everything to keep us safe. It might be your class who spends hours decorating the headstones of fallen men and women at the Saratoga National Cemetery as a show of respect and appreciation for the service that each has rendered our country. Who has already donated over a thousand community service hours to people in need by the time our building closed on March 13th. Who made it abundantly clear to the students behind you that the work you do during the South High Marathon dance is about people and not about numbers, by your focusing on heart and health. You are the class who repeatedly took it upon themselves to reach out to staff members to make sure that we were okay during the stresses of the shutdown because your compassion and drive to help others pays no attention to the traditional lines of direction concerning who should be supporting who. At every turn, your class looks to help, directing parents to the right rooms at Open House, speaking about your experiences and giving advice at EP and College Credit Night, speaking at an event with 175 regional school leaders about how we can evolve graduation measures to improve education for the students behind you. Mentoring, tutoring, facilitating discussion, encouraging acceptance, rallying for change, leading the way, making a difference. In short, just becoming the type of human beings that we want to be known for as a community. It wouldn't be me if I didn't mention that your class also set the record for the longest multi-school senior skip day in the history of American education. As your principal, what can I say other than well played? If I could offer you one piece of advice before you cross the stage, it would be to keep doing as individuals that which you as a group have already been inclined to do. When trumpets continue to face this nation, note that I'm sure they will. Don't wait for the cavalry to show up and save the day. Seniors, you are our cavalry. Your graduation is us unleashing you as change engines upon our community and upon our world. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for a great year, for the wonderful opportunity to get to know so many of you, and for more memories than I can possibly count. Having given what advice and encouragement I have to give, know that I count myself as someone who will always be in your corner and cheering on your many life accomplishments in the days to come. Since I started with a quote, I will end with, end with one as well. As one of my favorite authors, Patrick Rothfuss once wrote, half of seeming clever is knowing to close your mouth at the right times. Good luck to all of you. Mr. Elder, Mr. Modi, and Megan and Lanny. Class of 2020, congratulations. Your hard work and dedication has paid off, and soon you will be officially a graduate, diploma in hand, ready to change the world for the better. To the families and guardians of these incredible young people, I tip my hat to your Herculean efforts to support, love, and provide the necessary discipline so that these folks can reach this milestone. Please cherish this moment and continue to love, support, and push these students to reach their potential in this journey that is life. Graduates, thank you for selecting me to share this huge milestone with you. I'm both humbled and honored and slightly nervous. When I was asked if I would be willing to address the class of 2020 at graduation, I remember it well. I was working out in my garage, either listening to Slayer or Run the Jewels on a portable speaker I brought out for the quarantine workouts. 
I watched Buzz and notified me of an email from this man and Ms. Hogan Morgan. I read the email shortly after and replied yes. In my head, the Civic Center floor, tons of people, a podium. The podium was very important, I remember thinking. Did I want it to use to slam my fist? Did I want it to hide my inevitable shakiness of addressing so many at once? Did I want it draped in a Math Saves Lives banner? Yes, I did. Did I, uh, let's see, which led me to of course asking myself if I should wear last year's senior class's gift, a crush velvet purple cape adorned with the regurgitator logo, like the math James Brown. No, no cape. Calm yourself, Keller, as her eye smile came up across my face. Then, about 30 seconds later, the reality slash horror set in. We're in the middle of a pandemic. I'm lifting filled water jugs and pieces of wood in my garage because the YMCA is closed. The fear set in big time. What do I say? We've been in quarantine since March. My students are learning from the almighty Khan. I'm, mi I'm making YouTube math videos for around 80 students, yet I only have 19 subscribers. <laughs> Should I teach a math lesson? Yeah, I'm good at that, but which lesson? What would a family want to learn about calculus on such a special occasion, I wondered. Idiot! You can't teach a math lesson at graduation, I said to myself. Wait, I've got it. Who cleaned up in, the, uh, in English at the academic awards ceremony? Barton. Natalie Barton. I'll get her to write it for me. Oh my god, what am I saying? That'll never fly. She'll want way too much money. No, I need to focus. I need a structure, a theme. Obscure Silence of the Lambs references? No, too dark. Hip-hop quotes? It's a cold world, dress warm. No, that won't do. Aha, an excerpt, an excerpt from Homo Deus. Fiction isn't bad, it's vital. Without commonly accepted stories about things like money, states, or corporations, no complex human society can function. I'm sorry, I think I just fell asleep. Uh, I apologize for that. Nope, all terrible ideas. Suddenly the song switched in my garage to fight the power by public enemy. I immediately recalled Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing, a, mu a movie that features this song prominently. All right, I'm on to something. The phrase, do the right thing, it's a very succinct way of summing up my message, but I needed more. Then it hit me. When am I ever going to use this, Mr. Keller? That phrase has haunted me since I shamefully uttered it myself back in high school. When are we ever going to use this? I knew at this moment I wanted to talk about lifelong learning. Now, to keep it more TikTok than TED Talk. What is it? By definition, lifelong learning is the ongoing, voluntary, and self-motivated pursuit of knowledge for personal or professional reasons. Thank you, Google. Why buy into it? For me, lifelong learning lends itself into social inclusion, active citizenship, personal development, self-sustainability, competitiveness, and employability. All wonderful things, but I'll focus on only one, personal development, even though I am pretty competitive. This day, as important as it is, as big a deal as it is, uh, is by no means should imply that you are a finished product. None of us are. This is a huge milestone, an event or action marking a significant change or stage in development. A change. I like that. Change is sometimes scary, unsettling maybe, but often necessary. This isn't your first milestone and it certainly won't be your last on your journey. For some, your new journey to the next milestone begins with trade school, maybe college. For others, maybe the job market, or perhaps the military. Others, and I'm totally jealous of you, uh, may decide that now is the time to travel, see the country, maybe the world, before settling into career mode. No matter your next move, the one thing is 100% certain, you will be learning. Your journey will be filled with it. You won't be able to stop it. And why would you want to? Will it all make perfect sense at the moment? Maybe, maybe not. However, you will learn about yourself, the real you. This is important. The sooner you figure out who you really are, your aspirations, your dreams, your passions, the fact that you need 10 hours of sleep and a pot of coffee in the morning just to function. But maybe, more importantly, who you are not. The trail will be marked, the lamps will be lit to guide you. You will pursue opportunities with great vigor, and turn down others with clear eyes and a full heart. And along the way, you'll fail at something, maybe a few times. That's okay. Failure is deeply entwined with learning. Modern lingo calls this failing forward if you learn from your missteps. It will inform you on choosing a different option, 
an alternate path, maybe changing your tone when you speak to people. Or maybe you'll be forced to become a better listener. You will learn more about yourself. Maybe you'll figure out that it's perfectly okay to ask for help. Or maybe you'll learn to put yourself in someone else's shoes for a moment and try to understand where they're coming from. No matter what failure teaches you, your journey will require it. What I'm really getting at here, folks, uh, is continued personal development. Your journey will not be a short one. Please don't close yourself off from new experiences or assume you have everything figured out. You don't. None of us do. And that's kind of part of the fun. The important things. Open yourself to new ideas. Listen. Like, actually listen. Be polite. Surround yourself with people that are better than you at something. There's an old saying, to go fast, go alone. To go far, go together. Pay it forward when you can. Do your research. No one else is going to do that for you. Uh, and don't let, please, do not let your empathy turn into apathy. Be confident. You're educated, talented people who will thrive on challenge, and so why not gamble on yourself? Be confident that you will succeed, and you probably will. Okay, I'm approaching TED Talk status, so I'll start to wind this down. When are we ever going to use this? The answer is, when won't you? So far, 2020 is like looking at the minimum value of a sine curve. You knew I'd mention it. I'd mention math somewhere in there. We can easily count the number of ways COVID-19 has been a bummer. No senior dinner dance, no rockin' fresh kicks that first warm day, no frisbee in my class during health fair. No senior trip. Well, actually, that one kind of saves me a little bit of pain because I'm usually getting pelted with about a million paintballs during the senior trip. You will most certainly be able to tell your children and grandchildren that your high school graduation was unforgettable, or maybe forgettable, because of the pandemic. Or you could remember that if you're at the minimum of a sine curve, the only place to go is up as time goes on. No more math, I promise, because if you know the sine curve, this metaphor gets gloomy pretty quickly. Your grandparents remember where they were when JFK was assassinated. Your parents remember exactly where they were during 9-11. You may have the opportunity to have an I remember exactly where I was when moment. Only yours has the possibility to be beautiful. When you're telling your children or grandchildren about your graduation, you may have the extraordinary possibility of saying, I remember exactly where I was where my peers and I decided to do the right thing. Graduates, enjoy your journeys, keep learning, and know that your South Glens Falls community will always love and support you. I wish you success. As legendary bulldog Mike Nolan would have told you, no excuses, do the work. Thank you.
homeless more than ever. Your world was turned upside down, and yet here you are. Let me say that again. Here you are. Living through these times, I am sure we all had moments where we thought we would never be together again. But here we are, and hopefully we learn things about ourselves and our world along the way. Here is one lesson we learned. In the fast paced world where technology is at the tips of our fingers and we are checking social media far too often, we realize that really at the heart of every day, we need human connection. We yearn for the connection of teacher to student, of grandparent to grandchild, store worker to regular customer, and so on. Sure, we stay connected, but it is the human connection that we truly need. The visit to a family's house will not seem so boring once we can do it again. We will be slightly more patient in the grocery line. Hopefully students, as you begin to move out of your parents' houses, you will reach out and visit a few more times than what you would have before because you realize that human connections are not only wanted, but necessary. Thank you to so many of you who shared with all of us your ways that you got through this last semester. The artwork that was shared, the musical performances, the volunteerism, the videos to teachers. Each of these made a difference in so many people's days. It was because they felt connected to each of you. I encourage all of you to continue to share your talents with the world. I know for sure that through these last few weeks and months, we have all used various coping strategies to get through this time. I am an extrovert by nature and staying home for me was hard, but I knew it was important to do to keep us all safe. For me, I turned to reading and listening to one of my favorite authors of all times, Brene Brown. Brene is known for her work around studying courage, vulnerability, shame, and empathy. These traits in people are so important right now in our world. She recently wrote, this pandemic experience is a massive experiment in collective vulnerability. We can be our worst selves when we're afraid or our very best, bravest selves. In the context of fear and vulnerability, there is often very little in between because when we are uncertain and afraid, our default is self-protection. We don't have to be scary when we're scared. Let's choose awkward, brave, and kind. And let's choose each other. Graduates, I encourage you to always choose awkward, brave, and kind. And most definitely choose each other. Make the time moving forward to connect, reconnect, and reach for the stars. The future is ready for you. And now more than ever, you are ready for the future too. Congratulations, graduates.
But for now, I want to say to all of you, by the power vested in me, by the state of New York, and the South Glens Falls Board of Education, I declare you graduates of South Glens Falls High School. Congratulations, graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to please follow the driving directions given to you by the good folks in the yellow shirts as you drive your graduate up for presentation of their diplomas. Thank you for your cooperation. We'll start with our 2020 class officers, class president, Megan Margie DePoy.
Class Vice President Julius Daquan Hunter. Class Secretary Nathan Thomas Weeks. Class Treasurer, Grace Elizabeth Taylor. Class Valedictorian, Lanning Harris Torebka. Rachel Amber Seaman, diploma presented by Laurie Seaman. Abdul Muiz. Naomi Catherine Hodgson. Chana Choksi. Sophia Margaret Stepano in absentia. Alexa Jean Horonsky. <laughs> Emma Catherine Kenley. Parker James Winton Taft. Carolyn Margaret Hammond. Okay, I'm going to go right over here. I love the hat. Thank you. Go right on the hat. Thank you. 
Edward Robert Hebert in absentia. Luca Bella Abbey. Brandon Amorosi. Emily Stephanie Arquette. In absentia, Ashley Rose Baines, Dale Joseph Baker in absentia. Lillian Marie Baker. McKenna Tracy Baker. Barden, diploma presented by Michelle Barden. Isabella Jean Bartley. Carlotta Marie Batchelder.
Alexander Michael Batista. Maria Backstrom. How are you? Emily Jean Beams. Elizabeth Lee Berg. Rachel Elizabeth Betcher. Alexander Bonesteel. Congratulations to our 
Robert John Bruschini, diploma presented by Lori Bruschini. Cassandra Lynn Cantiello. in absentia. Michael Anthony Shagnon.
Etta Sophia Meadows Chilelli. Hunter James Clark. Melody Renee Close. David Ari Cohen. Mia Kate Cooper. Madison Lee Corso. Gisela Ayana Creech. Brandon Crozier. Ashlyn Brene Crub. Dylan Frederick Davignon in absentia. Michael Patrick Dara Jr. in absentia. Alyssa Marie Davis. Cooper Anthony Del Signor. Lila Patricia Barbara DeLuc. Right 
Mia Jenny Del Valle. Noah Matthew DeMarco. Kara and Bishon. Cassidy Jane Dozier. Right here. 
Queen stands right on the street. Jacob Robert Donahue. Kirsten Ashley Donahue, diploma presented by Kelly Donahue. Sarah Marie Douglas. Taylor Marie Dewars. Kiara Lynn Dutra. Logan Dyer. Aliyah Marie Eastman. Paige Schuyler Fennelly. Haley McKenna Falkovich. Eliana Mutia Fitchner. Jason Byfield. Right 
Samuel Harris Wilson. Alyssa Hope Fisher. Simon Alistar French. Anthony Quinn Galusha. Damian Michael Garcia. Matthew Lee Kibo. Charles John Gelheiser. Savannah Rose Gilligan in absentia. Emma Lee Goodspeed.
Joseph Lee Hall. Olivia Lita Hallenbeck. Colby Harrington. Jillian Elise Harrington. Devin Joseph Hartwell. Brooke Lee Hatfield. Brandon Hudson Hayes. Ryan Joseph Hayes. Jacob Hellenick in absentia. Noah John Hogan, diploma presented by Lisa Hogan.
Emily Ann Howard. Benjamin Francis Hall. Kylie Elizabeth Hyde. Jax Ingram. Marley Grace James. Dylan Charles Kenyon. Molly Catherine Killeen. Margaret Dorland Kilpeck. Andrew Michael King. Savannah May Crappin. Paul Charles Presto is back in. Trent Michael Lafar. Zoe Isabel Lanfear, diploma presented by Karen Karyanis. Congratulations. Thank you. You have to go ahead and move the tackle from your right to your left. 
<laughs> Emily Ann LaRose. Bryce Michael Law. Denver Nash Liberty. Elizabeth Ann Luciano. Daphne Lynn McCanny.
Elijah William Melvin. Maris Minalera.
Cade Justice O'Brien in absentia. Grace O'Brien. Madeline Corrine O'Donnell. Rachel Lauren O'Donnell. Matthew James Ogden. <laughs> Riley Lynn Oliver in absentia. Isabella Joyce Osborne. Holly Ann Page. Colin 
Parker. Austin Michael Peltier. in absentia. Stephen Conrad Powers. will make that Leah. Joseph George Ruggieri Jr. Click. 
Haley Grace Sauter. Daniel James Scott Yeah. Come right over here. Yes. 
Cameron Isaiah Slifer in absentia. Jason Smith, diploma presented by Missy Smith. Benjamin David Stipson. Madison, Alyssa, Taylor. Congratulations, you're now a graduate. You're welcome. Come right over here. Send right all those. 
Nicole Elizabeth Tenight. Fiona Lee Thomas. Albert Basic the fourth diploma presented by Albert Basic. Thank you. 
Nathan Waller. Whitman in absentia. Skylar Nicole Wharf. Kennedy Elizabeth Walsh Heller in absentia. Cameron James Wilcox. Charles Wolf. <laughs> Mackenzie Rose Wilson in absentia. Marie Wright. Yeah, 
Lauren Eve Elizabeth Youngblood. At this time, it is my privilege to welcome Principal Pete Modi to the podium for our closing remarks. Let's hear those horns one more time. Class of 2020, we love you, good luck, and good night.